As of right now, more than a half a million people plan to storm Area 51 with the idea they can't stop us all. A lot of folks are taking the internet-fueled idea of stur storming Area 51. A call to storm Area 51 has attracted more than 1.2 million people on Facebook. Nearly a million Facebook users say they're going to raid Area 51 in Nevada on September 20th in a quest to see aliens. Me personally, I believe this is a joke, but I'm afraid a lot of people might not think this way. They might think on September 20th, 2019, starting at 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., they're going to storm Area 51. I heard about the Area 51 raids, guys. So, September 20th, y'all need to learn how to protect yourself. Aliens are dangerous. They will mess with your mind, do stuff you don't want done while you think they're there. But, I do agree, we do need to free them. I'll be running like, ah! Y'all got to be like that, but in vehicles. Because if you're not, it's over like it's still over for a few of y'all like a few of y'all is getting killed regardless like a few of y'all is gonna get popped like it's gonna go down in history though for sure and it, it, it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be amazing but jackson barnos one of the people in the group to storm area 51 drew up a strategic plan storm Area 51. Now, a pinned post on the page says the event is a joke, reading, quote, Hello, U.S. government, this is a joke, and I do not actually intend to go ahead with this plan. This Facebook group grew so big that even picked up on the Washington Post, where they got interviewed with one of the Air Force spokeswomen, Laura McAndrews, saying they are aware of this Facebook post and they are aware of September 20th and the events that take place. When asked about actions that would be taken on people who storm Area 51, she stated she cannot elaborate on plans and security measures and procedures on the base. So many people signed up, the U.S. military officials aren't joking around. An Air Force spokesperson told multiple media outlets that the U.S. Air Force is aware of the Facebook event, and a spokeswoman told the Washington Post that the U.S. Air Force always stands ready to protect America and its its assets. And no one knows what would really happen. Area 51 is a very highly classified military base located in Lincoln County, Nevada, near Groom Lake. No one really knows where Area 51 got its name. There's speculation that Area 51 got its name from the Area Grid Atomic Energy Commission. In the 1940s during World War II, the Army Air Corps built air runways in Nevada, near Groom Lake. At this time, known as Army Air Corps Gunnery School soon after the runways were abandoned. Now in 1950, the CIA partnered up with Lockhart for some secret projects, high altitude aircrafts using the Area 51 base. This was so secluded that no one would even suspect anything. No one even knew about it. This base became a location for secret projects for the military, such as the U-2 aircrafts. Now this base became the hub conspiracy for UFOs and alien experiments. Now in 1947, Mike Brazel found some weird stuff on his land. From what he explained, it was a crash site. So he gathered up the material and took it to his local sheriff. Now the local sheriff couldn't explain what this stuff was, so he did the next best thing. He took it to the New Mexico Roswell military base. Now I don't know if some of the military soldiers were playing a joke on one of the officers, but they sent the officer to a local news station where he admitted that it was a flying bit, a UFO. Now three hours later, the higher ups got wind of this and they made the exact same officer go back to that news station and report that it wasn't a UFO, it was a balloon, a weather balloon. Now everybody believed in this story. They first took it as a UFO for at least three hours, and then when the government came back and said it was just a weather balloon, they believed it, and they forgot all about it until the 1980s. In the 1980s, a man known as Stan Friedman, a nuclear physicist, did some research on the crash site and UFOs and all this weird extraterrestrial stuff. Upon his research, he had a few eyewitnesses claim that the government lied and the UFOs were true. Now this is where Area 51 and Roswell tie in together. Because of this man's research, because another man came out and claimed that UFOs crashed there and they found extraterrestrial bodies. Area 51 was set up to push military, science and technology faster and further than any other nation. Journalist Annie Jacobson wrote Area 51. It chronicles what happened on that base in the 1940s, 50s and 60s. One of her sources in her books for Area 51 says that the bodies and the UFOs found in Roswell were not alien or extraterrestrial or from outer space. Actually, they were from Stalin. 
Stalin wanted to plan a mass panic in the U.S., saying that the bodies found were actually test subjects from Dr. Joseph Mangula, a doctor from Auschwitz during World War II. A flying disc really did crash in New Mexico, and then it did wind up at Area 51. It did not come from Mars, it came from Russia. And Jacobson source claims there were pilots in that flying disc, not aliens, but Russians. And what he said was that the child-sized aviators had been the byproduct of this horrific uh, human experimentation program by Stalin in collaboration with the doctor from Auschwitz, Dr. Joseph Mengele. Eventually, my source told me, we chose to do the same thing. Do you think it's possible what she says in so called source is claiming to be of these bodies and the UFOs? Is the government trying to reverse engineer these crafts? Are they trying to reverse engineer the experiment done on these people? Is it even possible? Are they doing undocumented experiments that we don't know about? I mean, they kept everything a secret from us for a long time. This video clip surfaced back in 1995 as an alien autopsy, one of the bodies found during the wreckage of the Roswell crash back in 1947. Ray Stantilli claims that this is a 100% genuine alien autopsy going on right now and none of it's fake. It even aired on Fox television. What do you think about it? Do you believe this autopsy video is actually really true? Well, I hate to tell you, back in 2006, Ray came out saying the whole thing was a hoax. He lied to everybody having to believe for 11 years that this was actually an alien autopsy. So a lot of stuff could be fake. And even, just to let you know, aired again back in the 2000s, the news team knew that it was a fake alien autopsy. They just wanted more rating. Fake news. Well, no longer hide the truth. Rob Lazar claims our government captured alien spaceships, UFOs, and keeps them in a secret warehouse. And that's not all. Bob says Uncle Sam hired him to figure out how they fly. Now in 1990, a former Area 51 worker, Bob Lazar, a engineer physicist, came out and said that he actually worked on nine UFO spacecrafts in Area 51. And they are actively uh, undergoing analysis. And flying them. And flying them. Bob Lazar is an engineer and a physicist who says he worked on flying saucers for the U.S. government at Area 51. Bob Lazar was there in Area 51 to reverse engineer these spacecrafts to figure out how they work. And what they stumbled upon is that these spacecrafts are able to engineer their own gravity. And they run on some elements that are unknown to people on this planet Earth. They don't come from Earth, they're from outer space. Lazar says the saucers are powered by an antimatter generator, fueled with the element which he says could only have come from another planet. Now with the special element and how the spacecrafts generate their own gravity, this is what gives them their lift. How they move different from what our airplanes move, our spacecrafts move. Now do you believe what he says is true? Well, let me tell you this. Bob Lazar took a lighter detector test and he passed flying color. Terry Tabernetti is the ex-cop who administered the test. If he's lying, uh, he ought to be in Hollywood because he gave absolutely no physiological indications of attempting deception. If he came out and said UFOs exist and passed a lie detector test, don't you think the government will have something against him? Don't you think they'll try to put a stop to him to keep him quiet? From what he says is that he quit Area 51, he quit working for the government because of he was getting harassed by his boss. And the man that recommended him to the government claims he doesn't even know who he is or he probably forgot about it. Lazar says he was referred to his government job by Dr. Edward Teller, the renowned scientist who helped develop the atomic bomb. But in a rare interview with Inside Report, Teller insisted he doesn't know Lazar or at least just remember him. So that's like the best tactic they got is to get him to quit his job and make it seem like no one knows who he is, that it's all made up. I think it, it appears that someone's trying to wipe him out. Now the reason why I'm bringing up Bob Lazar is because of the secret program the Pentagon recently admitted to, the secret UFO program that they spent millions of dollars on researching UFOs after telling us that UFOs do not exist. And earlier this week, the New York Times and Politico revealed the existence of a secret government program to investigate UFO sightings. Now they say this program started back in 2007, but who knows how long this program has been going on. They just said 2007 to make it seem like 
Roswell, and all the other stuff was not real. Now this program was shut down back in 2012. The year before, Area 51 was confirmed and to be truth. My question to you is, I want your thoughts on this. Let me know down in the comments. But let me add, everything I said in this video is facts and public knowledge. Some of these might be theories or big conspiracy. Area 51 is true. There is, or should I say, there was a secret UFO project going on from 2007 to 2012. The purpose of the program, uh, Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, was really designed to do just that um, from a national security perspective and try to ascertain and determine if that information is a potential threat to national security. What do you think about that? Do you believe in aliens? Do you believe in UFOs? Do you believe all this is a cover up? Do you believe that they are actually doing secret government testing in Area 51? Do you believe that the Soviet Union sent a craft to crash outside of Roswell? Do you believe they're trying to reverse engineer those genetically altered people? All I know is 2019 Storm Area 51 is either going to be a bloodbath or no one's going to show up. The security in Area 51 are told to shoot on site. They have authorization to shoot on site. Just remember that part. Who knows what's going to happen? I honestly hope no one goes and that all of this is one big joke. Until the next video, peace guys.